Yo, 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 my people. Today we're doing a fun challenge in The Sims 4. It's gonna be the Dream House Puzzle Challenge. This challenge was created by a fellow Sim streamer friend, Sim Lizard. You can find her on Instagram, Twitch, and I'm sure some other places as well. And essentially the rules are, you have to list the rooms that you want in your dream home by number. Use a random number generator, in my case, I'm gonna use a spinner wheel to determine when you do each room. So you can't just do whatever room you want. Then you build each room separately. And then once all the rooms are built, you put them together and you make a functional home out of it. And there's two modes, easy mode and hard mode. Easy mode, you create the hallways at the end. Hard mode, you have to create the hallways like as part of the rooms you create separately. I'm not into torturing myself, so I'm gonna do easy mode. I've come up with the rooms that I want. It's gonna be a master bedroom with an ensuite bathroom, boys bedroom, girls bedroom, because I want like three to five kids, so can't forget them. A guest bedroom, kids bathroom, a guest bathroom, an office slash studio for my husband, an office slash studio for me, a library slash activity slash skill room slash homeschool room. <laughs> that's one, by the way. A kitchen, a sunroom, and a living room. So that's 12 rooms. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt to do like three rooms per video. I don't know how well that's gonna happen, but we will see, we'll try. <laughs> so for now, I'm gonna build on this lot in Hanford on Bagley. It's a 64 by 64, just so I have space and I can probably like separate the rooms. And then we're gonna move it into Brindleton Bay because I would love to live like by the water I want like a cute cottage type of thing, you know? Which I mean, works for Hennifer on Bagley, but different. You know what I mean. So we're gonna spin for our first room. Okay, here we go. I'm scared. Eight, okay, what was number eight? So number eight was my office slash studio. So that's exciting. That's the first one we're gonna build. Wow, I have to think about this. So I think for my studio, I wouldn't want anything too crazy. It's probably just gonna be a little square. That's not really a square. Or even a rectangle, that's fine. I think it would be really simple. Like I would just have my desk set up and then a cute background, something that would show off my personality behind me. So let's see if I can pull that off. First of all, I would have a pretty neutral wallpaper because everything Everything else will be the decoration, you know what I mean? The wall doesn't need to be crazy. And then I just love this jungle adventure wood floor. So I feel like that's probably gonna be a common theme throughout the whole house. Wait, there's two of them? Wait, what? What is the difference? They're the same thing. What the heck? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so there's this like video making station that comes with Get Famous. And I almost wanted to do that, but that's really not what I would want my setup to look like exactly. <laughs> it's not really my style. So I'm gonna try to come up with my own thing. I've got this nifty knitting desk, which I think would be perfect for me it's just cute and I would definitely have like other activities there in my desk because I just am interested in so many other things and then I'm thinking for a second monitor like maybe I could use a TV like maybe this one and just size it down oh it's not gonna go on there I'm gonna have to cheat to get that up there I've got the basic setup with my camera my monitors my computer a light and then I think for behind me what I literally want like right now is just like a tapestry behind me like a really cute one and then maybe some plants and that's probably what would go behind me and then in front of me I would want big windows but that comes at the end putting all the windows and doors in so i think all i'm gonna do is a rug that tapestry and plants and i'm done with this room it's so easy and maybe some lamps some lighting this was the tapestry i had in mind at the beginning but then i found this and that is so much cuter i love this i don't know how i've never seen that in the game it's really cute and voila here is the final product of my dream studio i just added in some plants i added some chairs back here because i realized like there might be times where i wanted to sit and like brainstorm or whatever in my room and maybe not be in my chair or maybe someone would come in and hang out with me while I'm like streaming or recording. And then I just have some more lighting over here, plants. Like I said before, there's gonna be windows over here. There's gonna be a door somewhere. So I'm not doing too much on these other walls, but there it is. Now we spin for the next room. What shall it be? Two. Okay, I don't know if I'm ready for that. The two is a boy's bedroom. <laughs> when it comes to my kids' rooms, I don't have anything like super in mind, especially once they get older, it'll be more their style more than mine. But there is this like whole bunk bed situation that I've always imagined that I've seen on Pinterest. And I'm trying to kind of recreate it. I don't think I'm doing a perfect job, but essentially it'd be more like the bunk beds are like in the wall. So this is how I've kind of done that. I think other than that, I would just have like a big area for them to play in in the middle. So like get a rug down there, maybe a blue wall or something cool on the walls, and then just a bunch of toys, honestly, nothing crazy. This is what we've got going so 
far. So I just put like a desk, a little calendar, a bunch of trinkets on the desk because I think my kids are going to be kind of nerdy. <laughs> I even put this little violin because I love music. So maybe my kids will love music. Who knows? And then I'm just looking for that like Harry Potter movie poster. We also love movies and stuff in our family. I can't remember what the Sims version of it was. Henry Puffer. There we go. Henry Puffer is now on my boy's wall. I kind of just want to keep it simple like that because in my like skill slash activity slash library slash homeschool room, <laughs> I think that's where we might have more stuff for them to explore and learn and mess with things in their hands and whatnot. There's my boy's room. And now we spin for the third room for this video. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now nine. Okay. So nine is that activity slash library room. And I already know how I want to start this. I had built this like introvert dream home library with a reading nook thing in a previous video. I'm going to use that as my base for this room. And here it is. Oh, wait. Oh no. I can't actually do that. I think it needs to be a room. I don't know if that's a thing. I have to go out of the game and come back because Oof. I hate that there's no way to just merge two lots. I'm gonna have to save these as separate rooms and then place that lot and then put the rooms on the lot. I'll be back after I do that. We have everything placed properly now. This is the library with the reading nook. I don't think my house is gonna be more than two stories. So I'm thinking about getting rid of the top one, but then I just realized that might ruin the whole hanging lights. I'm gonna try and see what happens. I'm scared. So far, not too shabby. It looks okay. I think any roof or whatever is right there will hide that. So I I think I'm gonna leave the lights there as they are. I'm gonna build this room out from this. Oh, that's not what I wanted to happen, no, no. Let me just try just walls. We're gonna do it like this. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. I'm hoping it's gonna work out. The only thing is that we don't have a floor. Would it be so bad if I just put flooring there? I just need to test that if I try to move this, that it'll move how I need it to. Oh, the floor doesn't go with it. I'm gonna have to brainstorm this and come back to you. I think I found a solution. I put a wall one tile away from the bookshelves, which gave us a floor right there. And then I'm gonna delete this wall. That floor there should move with us when we move the room. And if I am just careful not to put anything in this area, we should be okay. And then I'll just fill it with flooring there. That's my best solution, I think. I already changed the flooring up here, but I know I also wanna change the wallpaper. And then I think I'm gonna put like a little lounger in there instead of a bed or like a chaise that comes with the modular couches like this. Let me show you. Like one of these right here. Which I realized I should have done before. <laughs> I don't know if you can get into it though, but we can help. Honestly, I might do the same wallpaper as I did in my office just because for me, like my style is very like boho, cottagey type of things. I see it being neutral, but then like having lots of plants and like pastel colored things around. I don't know if that makes sense. And my idea for this whole room is that it's just gonna be really like a cozy place to come chill, read, maybe even play games, study, do homeschooling paint, like anything like that. Cozy activities, hanging out with the family type of thing, but like separate in a way. So maybe not games. So this is the coziness we've got going on. We've got a little seating area, a little homeschooling area, which I still need to put chairs in, some painting and a little nook over here for like a bunch of kids stuff. And then I think for this, I might like find some more activities to add in there. And then pretty much it's just gonna be plants, like just to add to the cozy effect and lighting. I already used the new cottage living plant in my office space, but I totally would use it again because I love it and it's perfect. And this one, this perfect, perfect one. I don't remember the swatch being this pink, but it's gonna have to work. Ooh, maybe one behind the easel. Some hanging plants would be super cool if I could have some from like the ceiling because it's a loft essentially. That would be amazing. There's gotta be a way for me to do it from this level up here. We're just gonna raise it up with nine and hope we get it right. I've done about as much as I can do with this room. There is one item I'm looking for and it's that like kids paint set. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but I swear when I was building my cottage the other day, I kept seeing it and I didn't need it, but I cannot find it for the life of me today when I do need it. But anyway, here is our activity slash library slash homeschooling room. Very planty, not too overwhelmingly, I don't think so though. Very cozy. You know what I forgot? Lamps. I'll add lamps in a minute, but the reason it probably looks so bare on the walls is because I imagine there being huge windows and probably huge curtains too. So I'm gonna leave that pretty empty so I can do that, especially so the kids can like look outside as they're at their desks. I'm kind of just using 
the same like divider thing from Spa Day that I used up here in the little reading nook, but a different color because I just think that makes it really cozy and brings it together. I'm just like raising it up here and putting it on top of the other one. That's perfect. Yeah, boy. I don't know if that's gonna provide enough lighting, but I'm hoping it'll be good enough. Oh, I feel like that's so cozy. It's not super bright, but like, I don't know, maybe I should put like lamps on their desks or something. There we have it for this room. I am in love. This is the room I was most excited for. Like if there's ever a dream room I have in my dream house, it's this. <laughs> I just added a lamp on each side and then I put a light in here so that they could play and see what they're doing. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. Comment down below if you want to do this challenge as well. And don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.